on the vlog. Come on the vlog, I'll run on Tyler. Hey man! Whoa! Bird. Is it a plane? No, it's a bus. We're going to, to uh, a truffle farm this morning. So last week we were searching for penguins. This week we are searching for truffles. I do. We're the sun, we've got to go on. Oh, you want to go to the top? Yeah, you want to go to We give out a little bit that we don't get to do a lot of tours. This weekend, that kind of changes that. We've got a cracking tour on uh, road, time trial this morning, road race this afternoon, and uh, sort of circuit style thing tomorrow. I'm gonna jump on the time trial bike, do a bit of a warm up, he's off pretty soon. Um, yeah, gotta figure me on something. So, here we are, warming up. National Capital Tour, Angus, Cal Angus Calder, Jimmy Nickel, Angus Wilson. Uh, yeah, just quickly on the TT bike. So I haven't actually literally thrown a leg over this in three months. Uh, I had an incident with it a while ago uh, at Calga and subsequently pretty much had to rack it for a while. What we might do, hand you over to bus for a little bit. I'm intrigued. Uh, truffles, are they naturally occurring or do you farm them? Fresh out of his uh, maiden heffron win. Maiden heffron win? Maiden heffron win, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. How does it feel being down here in sunny Canberra? Ah, uh, it's glorious. Just, you know, nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Second on GC. Yeah. How'd you feel? Uh, got a bit excited on the way out. Um, and uh, started hurting while I'm coming home. But uh, yeah, happy to be up there, so. How'd you find the course? Ah, uh, yeah, good. This one dodgy corner just coming off the bridge, but otherwise, yeah, not good. too bad. It's pretty mellow. It just sort of wears you down after a few minutes, but uh, lucky the, the wind stayed away, so it could have been a lot worse. What is your preferred method of truffle farming? Is it pig or dog? As your poll viewers, something to ponder. Thanks for that, Gus. Um, one of the main disappointments of not being able to ride the TT lately is I've been really wanting to test this, um, sort of do an aero helmet kind of thing. This will be my second ride with it. I did the uh, Battle of the Border TT on it on the road bike. Feels great. Um, just trying to work out whether it fits on my sort of position and all that kind of stuff. So we will give you a little thought on it. Looks nice though, doesn't it? All right. It was not good. For my first individual TT, uh, it went all right. Nearly fell over at the start line. I had to unclip, but. Went all right from there. In between the turnaround and the roundabout, I got swooped by Magpie. So, <laughs> um, and yeah, finished it up, and that was it was good. Felt good. We have approximately three hours between these races, which is a long time, and I kind of really struggle with this. So, I'm going to try and have a little lie down. Seemingly. Hey. <laughs> I'm not the only one trying to have a lie down. <laughs> Sam doing it. <laughs> oh, Sam Hill, why are you wearing a beige t shirt? Anyway, it doesn't matter. This afternoon, road race 100Ks finishes up this hill, very flat race. Finishes up this hill. We've got two, well, three bike cameras. So, if something happens, we will capture it. <clears throat> Hopefully, be one of us crossing the line first. It's the plan. Just come up most of the way up the 
a climb, this is the finishing climb, it's a 2k climb to finish. We want to use this as really good practice for just being aggressive, so this is a pretty selective finish. Um, but we can't be waiting for this. I don't let's do it.
little box, what do you reckon, Cam? Uh, I finished second, had a bit of a go, awesome. halfway up and then hit the wall pretty hard. I didn't realise how hard it was down the crosswinds, but then I uh, got a second win with about 200 to go and just put it all in just to get past two of you just full line. So nice. Yeah, just training at the moment, pretty for Tassie. No, you're not just training. You're, 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 you're fit, mate. You're fit. That's <laughs> you're fit. You're not just training. You're just trying to get some race form. You're, no, you're not. You're going for Baron Gary form. That's, that's the big one. That's the one you really want. <laughs> Thank you very much for my wheel, gentlemen. So this is the uh, this is the sad wagon. The remnants. This is the remnants of the day. Thank you for my uh, thank you for my lift today, no worries, Carl. Buddy. Slow leak. I reckon we might be able to seal that up tonight. We shall see. So I got a flat. So that's what that was about. Um, yeah. So we need more racing lab. We'll have a bit of a chat actually to to Jimmy and Angus about it because it was a good lesson in. Uh, positioning uh, in a race like that. You saw crosswinds, you saw really really aggressive crosswind racing and uh, it causes selections. It's like less, it's less about breakaways and more about like selections and stuff like that. No words from bus, no words from bus. Uh, I will throw it Throw this into the mix. We've had a good day today. We didn't win. We had a good day. We have a feeling we might have the uh, New South Wales Road Premiership winner. Yep. Right there. Right there. Did you manage to line it up? Yep. Look at that. Are you looking at it in the yes. mirror? Yeah, I'm looking at it in the mirror. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to go home and get some KFC. I mean, um, lean food. I thought I'd give my two cents. This is my Bianchi Ultra XR4. There is absolutely nothing special about it. Everything is pretty much stock standard. I have a 59 centimeter frame with a carbon vibe 130 millimeter stem, uh, V4 vibe. Uh, I've got a set of 40 centimeter Pro Vibe aluminium handlebars because I crash so often that it's not worth buying carbon. I lied to you before. I do have one thing custom on my bike. Built by Gid Mason sticker, fully custom bro. Full farm gate factor. So when I bought this bike, um, I was thinking that the seat post was gonna be adequate for my gangly limbs. I swapped out the seat post for an extra long seat post and it is running three millimeters close to maximum insert. Uh, so I am a long boy. Do you like it? Yeah, oh. I love it. The, the GCN where they where they say like get like right down Slavic squat Aaron Bicknell heels on the ground 